Morning, everyone. Welcome to Hooking and Stitching Island Style. I'm Antoinette, your hostess, coming to you from Deer Island, New Brunswick, located in the Bay of Fundy, Canada. I want to welcome all returning fiber filling members, new fiber filling members. And if it's your first time here, like what you see, want to join the family, click subscribe below, click the bell, click all, and hopefully you get notified when I upload a video. As the title suggests, um, this is going to be a crochet tutorial, but it's going to be a new type of crochet tutorial because we won't know what the tutorial is going to be about until we pick it. So what I decided to do, and I'm going to try to do one a week on these here, is I'm going to crochet, crochet stitch Bible um, by Betty Barnden, and I'll put, I'll click a link where you can get it. I got this on Amazon four years ago. It's got over 200 crochet stitches in it. Now, some of them are new to me, some I've done. So we're gonna do this together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the book. We'll flip it through like that and stop on one. And that's the stitch we're gonna do. Because I'll go to, I'll be filming it on from overhead on my camera and then it'll be uploaded to this video. So, what you're going to need is going to be some yarn and a hook. So, I'm just using a Boy G Plus 4.25. So, let's say, and I'm going to ask in the comments if this is something you'd like for me to do more stitches from. But it's a way to learn some new stitches, and uh, we'll make mistakes together. We'll learn together. So let's choose our first pick and flip a stitch. Okay, we're going to just go like this. I have no idea what it is, so I'm going to flip it over, and I'll, I will always take from the left side. So, open work and lay stitches. So, this is the one here that we're going to be doing. And this one is called Lacy Scallops. It's a multiple of seven stitches plus two. A multiple of six chains plus four for foundation chain. We'll have to <laughs> figure it out. Um, okay, so it's a multiple of six chains plus four for the foundation chain. That must be if you're doing, I would assume, we'll just, we'll just try it from here. So it's only a, two, it's a two row repeat. So we're going to go down to the table. See you in a little while. Okay. I have my yarn here. So it says we'll do a foundation chain. Give us a little bit more to work with. So for foundation chain, it says a multiple of six. So it, you chain however many stitches you want, as long as it's a multiple of four. And then you add four stitches. So I'm going to, I'm going to, chain 24 stitches. 6 times 4 is 24. So 1, 2, oops, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go ahead and get your chains and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have my 24 chains. Double check your stitch count. So we'll check 3, Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. 12, 15, 18, 21. Let's count that again. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then it says plus 4. So we're going to 1, 2, Three, four. Okay. 
So this, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can read along with me. If it'll, is it gonna give? No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, I don't know how clear it'll come in. Nope, it's not gonna come in clear. It says row one, in the brackets, we're going to do all these stitches in the brackets in the sixth chain from the hook. Two double crochets, three chains, two double crochets in the sixth chain from the hook. Okay, so we're going to count six from, from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. There's the sixth chain. I'll zoom this in a little bit. If we can get it. Hold on a moment. Okay, I zoomed in. So we're going to do two double crochets, and these are U US terms. In the sixth chain from the hook, then we're going to chain three, two more double crochets. So there's one dou double crochet, two double crochets. See if I can get my yarn string down here. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do two more double crochets. And there's your first stitch. Then we're going to skip five chains, and we're going to repeat this in the next chain. So we got to skip five. So there's one, two, let me pull this up here, okay. And this chain here is going to be pulled kind of tight because of your stitches in this chain here, in the, that chain, because that's a lot, of, a lot going on in one stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth chain. We're going to repeat this. So it's chain two, it's chain, excuse me, two double crochets, chain three. Two double crochets. This is going to be the repeat across until you get to the last four chains. Then we'll skip three chains, one double crochet in the last chain, and we'll turn our work. So let's do another one together. Skip five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth chain, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. And I would pick a split of yarn, wouldn't I? Two double crochets. You have to complete your stitch first. <laughs> okay. So this was what you should be, it should be looking like. This this yarn here's got some stretch to it. It's the, that twisted jeans yarn. <coughs> Excuse me. So continue to get to the last four stitches and I'll be back. Okay. I'm down to my last four stitches. Now remember, this stitch next to 
the one that you did, the chain will tighten up and make sh make sure you locate it so you count four. We should have four left. We should have one, two, three, four. We're going to skip three. One, two, three, and we're going to double crochet in the last chain. And that's your lacy scallops. So we're going on to row two. We're going to turn our work. We're going to chain three. Then we're going to skip the first three double crochets. So there's your first one. One, two, three. Into the chain three space, we're going to repeat. Two double crochets, three chains, two double crochets. So we're going to do two double crochets. And chain three. And then two more double crochets right into that chain three space. Like that. Then we're going to skip the next four double crochets and repeat two double crochets, three chains, two double crochets to the end, end of the chain three spaces. Let's go skip the next four double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and into the chain three space. Double crochet two. Chain three. Double crochet two. This is the repeat until you, you end with two double crochets. And then we'll be putting one double crochet into the fifth chain of your chain five. So let's go on to the next one. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Two chains, chain three. Chain three, chain two. We're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Excuse me. In the last chain three, we're going to chain two, chain three, two more double crochets. So it's two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, that's what it's looking like, and then we're going to skip four the last two double crochets so we're going to skip one two and then you have this chain there's five chains here count up five chains one two three four five right here is your fifth chain and you're going to double crochet into that And that's what you have so far. And then, after you get the first two rows done, you're going to repeat row two, ending with one double crochet in the third chain of the chain three. So, let's do another row. So remember, we're repeating row two. You turn your work. You get some yarn here. You're going to chain three, if 
I can keep my hook and my stitch. Chain three, and then you're going to skip the first three double crochets. And that's conning your first double crochet there in that you did at the end of the last row. So there's one, two, three. You're always going to be working into the chain three spaces. So you're going to do two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, Skip the next four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Into the next chain three space. Two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. You do that to the end, and I'll meet you back there when I get to the end of my swatch here. Okay. On to the end here, and you skip the last two double crochets and you double crochet in the third chain. So there's my two double crochets. I'm going to, and I count up one, two, three, double crochet in that chain. I'm losing my little bit here for you. And then you turn your work, chain three, and repeat. Skip the first three double crochets, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. Skip the next four. You're always working into this to this to this chain three space. This would be a pretty stitch for a blanket, a shawl, a top. Um, it could be used as a trim in a top, like you could have a panel maybe of this amongst a solid stitch and use this for like an accent panel. But this is the Lacy Scallops stitch. And that's what you have. I think it's a very pretty stitch. It's a, you know, you do your, set, your two setup rows and then you just repeat row two until you get the length that you want or the width that you want whatever but remember it's a uh, multiple of six chains plus four for a foundation chain we did a foundation chain if you are going to go right into a project or do it without a foundation chain because this is very stretchy yarn this, this would be normally be straight very open but this this is very stretchy <coughs> excuse me or if you want to do it without a foundation chain, you just chain a multiple of seven stitches plus two. And remember, a multiple is always your first number times however many repeats you do, as long as it's divisible by that number. And then when you get the multiple that you want, the amount of stitches, then you add the plus, which is this case is plus two. Or doing um, a foundation chain, you would do multiple of six chains plus four for the foundation chain. So, I hope you will like this series. Please let me know. Um, there's all kinds. Of, like I said, there's over 200 stitches here. So, this was the Lacy Scallops stitch from the Crochet Bible. Hope this helps. I enjoyed learning a new stitch. I hope you enjoyed it also. And we'll see what next week's stitch will be. So remember, hugs, smiles, and happiness. Pass it on. Make the world a better place. Here's bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.